So as I was thinking about what things to make videos about, I remembered that there was this uh, channel on the internet, that this ancient fossil of a channel on the internet that's called uh, Expert Village, and they would do tutorials on uh, things as simple as how to put coffee creamer in coffee to the most like godlike Olympian stuff, like how to move... 13 mountains whilst you have a butt plug up your anus like that kind of stuff so I thought we would look at a, a video today from them and it's titled how to flirt in a bar hi this is Alex McRae I'm a social dynamics instructor and on behalf of expertvillage.com today I'm talking about picking up women in bars and clubs flirting what is it Ooh, I think I know. What the, I think I know what flirting is. Flirting is when you uh, go up to a woman, say hi to her. She says hi. You prematurely ejaculate in your pants and you run away crying. The basics of flirting is to convey through certain ideas and emotions that you like someone else, and hopefully that the other person likes you back. Now, who are the best flirts in the world? They're actually little kids. Oh my Jesus, fucking fuck, dude. Uh. Yikes, what a weirdo. Expert village, more like pedophile village. Now, why is that? Well, for one thing, they have the best imagination. If they're playing in the sandbox and they're talking about some fantastic place that they can go in the world, they're using their minds to put themselves in a place that's just the two of them in their own special world. This dude's a scoutmaster, like 100% without a doubt in my mind. Using their imagination. Also, little kids are fearless. They realize at such a young age that they have nothing to lose. They're comfortable with themselves. They're willing to take things to the extreme and be comfortable using their own imagination. I would make a joke here, but it's just too horrible. One of the keys to flirting is to actually let the other person know through your voice and through your smile that you are flirting. Because a lot of the things that adults say that are flirting can be taken the wrong way if you don't convey them with energy and fun. In other words, if I see a girl with blue eyes, I might say, wow, your, your eyes are, are like blueberries. Wait, can I actually, can I actually, I'm kind of hungry. Can I, can I have? Oh God, yikes. That was super uncomfortable. But yeah, no, try and do that out in like a club or in a bar or whatever. I'm sure that definitely will not get you a hard kick to the urethra. That's one thing that you could go into that is fun, and we'll, we'll get a girl giggling within moments. More like screaming and running away in the opposite direction as fast as she possibly fucking can. But now notice what happens. If I don't smile, and if I bring my energy level lower, and if, I, if my voice tone is flat. Hey, I really like your eyes. They're blue like blueberries. Can I touch them? Can I have them? I'm hungry. It's just strange. Yeah, that is the only thing strange about this. So remember, to let people know that you're flirting, have a big smile, high energy, and make sure you're having a good time. If you're having a good time, it's likely that you'll put other people around you in a good mood. So how do you flirt? One way to do it is through role play. Oh man, I love role play. All right, let's, get, let's think of a, uh, a scenario here. All right, so I start role playing as a mob boss, and then I'm like, oh, you're late with the uh, drug money. And then I bring my rope and duct tape because I would have props, obviously. And then two big dudes dressed in all black come, in, come out of the shadows and tie her up and put duct tape over her mouth. And then if anybody tries to stop me, I point a gun at them and be like, oh, you really want to mess with me? And then I just take her home with me. It's a foolproof plan, really. For example, I might imagine that me and the girl I just met are actually husband and wife and we're negotiating a divorce. So I can say... Babe, you know, I'm sorry I had to do this. Sorry I had to break this to you here, but it's over, you know? You know, 10 years, I had some good times, but, you know. You can keep custody of the kids. Um, you can keep the house. I'll, I'll keep the dog, because, you know, Buddy, I train Buddy myself, and, you know, he's a good dog. So, bye now. Have a good life. And sorry this whole divorce thing worked out this way. See, that's one thing that you can go into. <laughs> But why? Why out of, out of all the role play would you do that? Somehow you made my example actually sound somewhat sane. 
Like, getting a divorce, splitting custody, that's some dark stuff. That traumatizes people. That's a little strange, fun, and it puts you in a situation that would take you years to get into in real life. Yeah, it would take her years to get into that situation. You, though, I don't see you finding any potential mate of any kind with these flirting techniques. And you just met this girl. So remember, you can roleplay situations that are fun and unusual. Another way to do things is take things to the extreme. If I mention blueberry eyes, I might just say that off the cuff. But I'll take that to the extreme of, what if her eyes actually were blueberry? What if I was a chef? What if I wanted to make a blueberry cake? What if the blueberry cake won the World's Fair of being the best blueberry cake in the world, and it was all because of her eyes, but now she has a medical condition because she doesn't have any eyes anymore because of All right, now he's, not, now he's just telling you not, not to even make it a joke. Just make it as creepy as possible. To go even deeper into this septic tank in which you're creating right now, why put all your anal beads into that basket? Like, she obviously picked up on the first time that it was at a hint of a joke, and now you just want to seem like some kind of insane lunatic that's just crazed and want, just thinks that her eyes are blueberries and that you want to rip them out of her skull and eat them? Yikes. Blueberries, and you can see how all these things can just build and build and build into funny situations that are quirky because they start from something so simple. So remember, have fun, role play, and remember the kid in you who's the great flirt. There's something going on over there in Expert Village. There's this weird guy saying some weird shit. But anyway, yeah, how, to, how, how do you flirt? Well, you don't do anything Expert Village tells you to do. Uh, that's about it. See ya.